Do you like cool stuff or not cool stuff? Well, I'm going to show you something pretty cool. It's called a relay. And I got one right here. So I'm going to use this relay to turn on this light bulb using this as my relay switch. And you may think that's dumb. Because like, hey, why don't you just hook the battery straight up to the bulb where I need a relay? And I get it. But the idea is that I can run current through the relay, and the relay acts as a mechanical switch to turn on some other current. Now, that means that, uh, suppose this was a garage door opener, and it had a, a lot of current. And that way, I don't have to turn on a lot of current. I can have it there and have the relay turn on the current. Or maybe you can use a um, relay in your oven when to turn on the element. And when it gets too hot, you turn it off. Turn it on and off the element, use a lot of current, you have a relay. Now, listen. You hear that clicking? That's the relay turning on and off. And you can hear that. You can hear that in your oven. When your oven turns on the element, you can hear that click. And that's that relay. So how does it work? I draw a little diagram right here to kind of help us think about what's going on. We have here a coil of wire. And it's hooked up to a power source. And this is an electromagnet. When you turn on the electromagnet, this bar right here gets attracted. And when it does that, this moves that way, right? Because the whole beam, this beam, this one has this little shape. It's going to get pulled, and it's going to move that way. So now you can control the current in here, and it can change these switches. So right now, uh, you can have these two things connected to something. And when you turn it on, this purple bar is going to move from the green to the red. So the way I have it right now, I have the light bulb going through here, down through here to the battery, and so it's off. When I turn on this, that pulls the bar up, this moves that way, and it turns on. I can also hook the light bulb up to this one and that one, and it will be on until I turn on the relay, and it'll turn off. So let's try that. So here's my relay, and you can see that in this one maybe. This is a different relay. But right here, can you see that? There, there are two bars on each side, and they're connected. And this bar on the bottom gets attracted. Now this one's on the side, and it pulls it towards or away, so it switches contact points. This one's a little bit different. It's like the picture. It has the bar on the bottom and the contacts up here. Now, I have the battery hooked to this side of the switch and the middle. I'm going to switch this over here and you'll notice the light bulb turns on. Now when I turn on the relay it will disconnect that. Now I'm going to make something even cooler. What if I take my battery, I go to the coil, and then from the coil I go to here and then I go from here back to the battery. So the relay will turn on itself. I can make the relay turn on itself and what will happen? Let's hook that up. So I don't need my my light bulb battery over here anymore. I don't need that. I'm just going to use this battery. So I have the power coming to that. I'm going to take this and connect it to this wire right here. I'm going to connect, I'm just going to use this little clip right, I can't see very well, and I don't know if you can see, I wish I could get you to see better, and you could say, hey, well, if you were only better with your stupid YouTube stuff, then you could get it, Now I'm not really good with YouTube, okay, and now, so it's going from the battery to the coil, and then from the coil to the left side of the pole, and then from the pole, it's going to go back to the battery. Just like this. So now what's going to happen when I hook up the battery? Surely you can hear that. So what's happening is that when you turn on the relay, it turns itself off. But now it's off, so it turns back on. So now it's on, so it turns off. So that's a little buzzer. Now, but that's not the cool part. Here, the coil of wire, the electromagnet, acts as an inductor. And when you have a changing current in an inductor, it produces a large voltage. When you have a large voltage, you get a spark. And the spark produces electromagnetic radiation. And that can be detected by 
a radio. So I have my radio on. This is what's called a spark gap generator. I mean, it's not a great one. No one ever said it was, but it's producing sparks because the coil is turning on and off. Those sparks produce electromagnetic waves. Those waves are detected by this AM radio. And so I think that's pretty cool with this simple little relay. Turn it into a radio and that's what Not a very good, not a very good, not a very good radio, but it is a radio. So I hope you like that. Uh, it's kind of fun to play with. The end.